Hey, welcome to Maximum Bass Speed. I want to do a video here for you today in regards to two different kind of styles of hitting. I know there's a lot of different philosophies out there, and uh, my philosophy is more of a, like a lower body rotation, upper body tilt. Uh, again, uh, there's different philosophies, and I uh, what other coaches do is, uh, you know, whatever works for you, great. But for me, I've had a lot of success. So this video is going to pertain to a rotational swing, more of a kind of a upper body. I'm talking more about the upper body because in the lower body, it always seems to rotate regardless of what kind of style you're using. But what the upper body is doing uh, seems to uh, be quite different. OK, and this is going to be more of a rotational versus upper body tilt. Uh, what's going on with the hand path? What's going on with the bat? And I hope this video helps you and it helps you to kind of get an idea of what the difference is in the two. Again, I teach um, what Miguel Cabrera is doing on the right, uh, John Carlos Staten on the left. A lot of coaches teach this. And I'm gonna uh, explain to you uh, why I teach what I do on the right, okay? Now, We'll go to John Carlos Staten first. Now, what's going on with his swing is this, okay? And I, I drew the white line represents the bat, and the red lines on, on the video represents his bat path or his knob path, okay? Now, you're going to see right here as he starts to swing, pay attention to what's going on with his swing here, okay? So he gets down into toe touch, and then he gets the heel plant. Watch what's going on with the bat, the knob of the bat, okay? You can see as he starts to swing, that he's getting his lower body is rotating very nicely, but his upper body, what he's doing is he's pretty much taking the knob to the ball, okay, with the red. And as he does this, watch what's going on with the bat path, okay? You can see this is very typical of players that kind of do the knob to the ball. They kind of throw their hands out there, okay? And you can see that the bat is still going down, 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 okay? And it's not, you see where the red is there on the right? of his bat. It's not to way out here that he's starting to get more of an upward of an upward trajectory on his ball. So in other words, he has to catch this ball pretty much out in front, okay, in order for he to be able to get some pretty good launch angle, okay? And what he does is he continues to swing. You can see that his hand path and his bat path is very rotational or very flat, okay, very horizontal. And you can see it's very obvious too as he's doing this swing, that his shoulders are very flat too, okay? In other words, they're not tilted, okay? They're not tilted. And this is pretty much what I want to uh, explain to you in regards to these different styles. And again, what John Carlos Staten is doing, he's been he's been very successful, successful doing this in the major leagues, but he's also a, a very, very tall, very strong athlete, okay? He's, I think, 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, 285 pounds. I mean, he's just a, 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 tr a true uh, athlete, okay? And most players will never be as athletic or as strong or as tall or as big as him. So can can most players get away with this? I don't think they can. Okay, that's just my opinion. But again, you can see here his shoulders, just like I mentioned, watch how flat his shoulders are, watch how his knob goes through the ball for a long period of time. The bat's still going down. You can see here that his shoulders at this stage of the swing, they're not very tilted. They're just slightly slanted. And you can see here, Again, it's very obvious what the bat path is doing, that the bat path is going down, down, down. In other words, if this pitch is coming in and he was to catch the ball even right here, he, his bat is still going in a downward trajectory, therefore producing more ground balls. And I see this all the time when I'm video recording players where a ball is coming in, players doing exactly what he's doing here. And sure enough, a lot of ground balls or a lot of just weak hits, okay? A lot of weak hits. And this is pretty much right here, the area in which he's going to have a good launch angle right here. And he happens to catch this one perfectly right out in front right there. And therefore, I, <clears throat> I believe this was a home run right here. And Again, you can see here the body, what he's doing here, very rotational, very rotational right here, okay? Now, if we go here to uh, Miguel Cabrera, watch what's going on with him. You can see here where he starts to swing, and we'll just follow his hand path. You can see here as he starts to get into his launch angle, watch what's happening with his bat, okay? You can see here, look at the red. 
Okay, this is really important for you to understand this because this is what's going to produce early bat speed. This is what's going to produce not getting the knob to the ball, but getting more of a early bat speed. And you can try this yourself. Put your hands pretty much right here where uh, Miguel Cabrera is. Get the knob and raise it up and cock it behind you. You'll see that you'll get this really early, this loop behind you bat speed okay this produces very very quick it's like you're snapping the bat early snapping it early so that you can get tremendous tremendous bat speed behind you and i talk about this all the time in my videos top hand torque i've been talking about it now for for quite a long time if you follow my channel you can see way back then uh, i've talked about top hand torque okay this is what i'm talking about right here look at this smooth that he's doing okay he's 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 going down and you can try this yourself get the knob and kind of lift it up and you'll see that the bat speed will get behind you very quickly in other words his hand path isn't like John Carlos on the left. It's more of a rotation, I'm sorry, more of a tilt with early bat speed immediately behind him. That with, watch what's going on with his bat path, okay? You can see his hand path and you can see his bat path. His hand is kind of going down, okay? As so it starts to go down right here, just uh, get this right here. You can see here as he starts to go down and look what look what happens right here. You can see just from the red right here, okay, how early, okay, his hand path is starting to go up very early in the swing, right around right here, okay, very early. Therefore, this bat speed at his swing speed, just like both with John Carlos, tremendous bat speed, he's going to have the opportunity to let the bats already have a launch angle very, very early in the swing. Look at that, right in front of his thigh. His bat speed here on the left, he did not produce this kind of upward trajectory, this launch angle to way, way over here. So in other words, what Miguel Cabrera is doing is not only producing early bat speed, but he's producing a launch angle because of what he's doing with the upper body. He's Look at the tilt on, and they're both getting very, very similar pitches. Look at the tilt, okay, on the on on Miguel Cabrera's shoulders, okay, compared to what I was showing you earlier here, pretty much at the launch angle right here, where he pretty much contacts a ball right here. Look at the look at the difference right here. And you can see that Miguel Cabrera, he's getting the ball way out in front as well. Look at that. He's getting it way out in front. But you can see there's a huge difference as far as what's going on with the shoulders there. And you can see the hand path. Look at the hand path in the red. Again, he's lift, he's letting his hands, okay? You can see how the knob kind of goes up right there, okay? Which produces that early bat speed. And then because of the hand path and uh, lead elbow working up to the height of the mouth, okay? Working up to the height of the mouth, therefore producing, okay, that tilt with the tilt of the upper body produces that bat to get into the zone very quickly with a very beautiful launch angle getting it an opportunity to have more balls if you're uh, a little even a little late on the ball to still hit it out of the park instead of hitting ground balls now you can see the bat path here with the bat is so much different than you see here on the left okay you can see the big difference as far as what's going on with the hand path you can see look at look at um, Miguel Cabrera's hand path what's going on with it look how it works up in an orbit and a tilted like in a very tilted orbit okay this is crucial for you as a player if you want to be able to hit bombs, if you want to be able to have early bat speed, if you want to be able to have a launch angle in your bat very early and very powerfully, you're going to be uh, you're going to have to produce, in my opinion, more of what you see Miguel Cabrera doing. OK, this is just crucial. And again. Look at the hand path. It's not quite kind of that knob to the ball thing. It's kind of going up and it's just beautiful right there. OK. Now, again, if we look at John Carlos, you can see here, it's very obvious the knob is going to the ball for a long period of time. And look at how the bat is just going down, 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 down. And it's not so way, way up here. Now, I'm going to show you this from a different angle so you can kind of get an idea what it looks like from the pitcher's view, okay? Okay, so this is from a different angle here, and you can see here what's going on with uh, John Carlos Staten on the left, okay? You can see his shoulders, 
it's very obvious if you look to the left and you look to the right, what's going what's going to occur here. Now, as he starts to swing, you can see that his shoulders are pretty pretty flat compared to Miguel Cabrera, okay? So what he's basically doing here, you can even see the bat angle right there coming in, and you can see as he hits it, you can see how quickly his bat leaves the area, okay? In other words, he's not hitting to and through the ball. You can see his shoulders are very flat, very very rotational, okay? He does a great job with the lower body, but his uh, upper body kind of matches the lower body, okay? You can see here the shoulders, see the shoulder plane? Now, if you look at Miguel Cabrera, look, well, watch what's going on with him. As he starts to swing, look at the tilt in his shoulders right there. Look at the difference. This is what I'm referring to. I am an advocate of doing what Miguel Cabrera is doing. Rotate the hips, tilt the shoulders, okay? And like I just mentioned earlier, get that early bat speed by doing what I applying what I mentioned earlier when I had the different uh, uh, angle of, of the hitters. Okay. That you can see here, <clears throat> excuse me, Miguel Cabrera, watch what he does because he has more of a tilt in the upper body. Okay. He has a better launch angle. Look at the angle of the bat of Miguel Cabrera and look at the angle of John Carlos Stanton. Okay. You can see it's very obvious that Miguel Cabrera, what he does, he kind of has what I call a one plane swing, okay? As he starts to swing, pretty much everything is almost exactly, almost like in one plane, okay? John Carlos Stanton, what he has, he has his shoulders are here, his bat is way down here like this, okay? You see the difference, okay? What Miguel Cabrera is doing, that tilt produces a much one plane swing, which creates tremendous power hitting to and through the ball. And again, that's why I teach what I teach. Okay. This is it really, and I'm just going from experience. And again, a coach can um, teach what they want. And I, you know, I don't, I leave coaches alone. If they want to teach what they want to teach, let them. I'm just showing you what has helped me what has helped my players when I do online video analysis. This is what I'm doing for them when I do uh, private lessons. I, I, this is what we're talking about, okay? And trust me, from just from my experience, all the years I've coached, doing what's on the right with Miguel Cabrera produces much, much better results, okay? So again, if we look at Miguel Cabrera on the right, watch what's going on as he starts to swing. Look at how, look at the bat right there. Look how his chest just stays there to and through the ball. At this stage of the swing, his barrel is still below his barrel. The ball has already taken off, okay? The barrel is still below the hands. If we look at John Carlos Stanton, watch what's going on with his swing right here, okay? He's very flat, okay? Very flat through the ball. And you can see here, and this right here, he's getting a good extension through the ball. But just like I mentioned earlier from this angle right here, this is this is the same swing right here. OK, so it's the same swing that he's doing. OK, this is just from a different view. He's he's putting his knob to the ball, getting very, very late on an upward launch angle. And then he's kind of just swir swir uh, swirling around rotationally. OK, that's what he's doing. OK, you see that? And then a very flat very flat swing, very low finish, very low finish. You can see his hands, how low they are. And watch Miguel Cabrera as he swings. Look how his, watch what's going on with his hands. Look at that, how high his hands are. Look at that, the launch angle. He's just launching that ball. Just beautiful right there. Anyway, guys, ladies out there watching this, I hope this video, uh, you like it. Uh, please give me a like if you learned something. Again, this is just my opinion on my teaching philosophy. Again, I believe that a player should really just uh, tilt the upper body more, get that early bat speed, and uh, just uh, apply that Apply that for yourself. Try this off the tee. Try to tilt your shoulders more, okay? Try to tilt your shoulders more as you swing like Miguel Cabrera. I, I really think that it's going to help you to get a, a quicker bat speed. It's going to help you to just, just truly allow your body to just explode through the ball with beautiful launch angle. And uh, I really recommend that I do online video analysis. You can reach me at maximumbestspeed at gmail.com. I would love to work with you. And I wish all of you the best out there. Thank you so much for watching. And please give me a like. Please subscribe to my channel if you like what